Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today I wanted to give you an update on my Finish It February group build and I am building the F3D2 Sky Knight. For this video, I'm just gonna kinda move right into what's been happening, what I've got done, and uh, hopefully where I hope to end up. So, let's talk about a few things. The cockpit uh, in, in this model is all resin. Every piece, all, all of these pieces that you see here on the instruction sheet are resin. I mean, they got some good detail on them. The problem is that it doesn't tell you what to really trim off, uh, how much to trim off, especially on, on this big section right here. I mean, it was just this big blob of, of resin underneath, and you know, you could tell where it had been poured into the mold. Um, and then once you get it all done, the instruction sheet right here, basically tells you okay slap it in there and oh by the way the nose landing wheel well nose landing gear wheel well is also a resin piece and it has all this casting this extra material on it um, so you have to try and get that stuff filed down whittled down however it is you go about doing it but you got to get it to where it'll fit inside the two fuselage halves now another thing about this model is there are no locators for the cockpit for the nose wheel well for for the fuselage halves uh, even for the wings there's there's no locators you know most of these models when you when you put a wing in there it'll have like a tab that slits into a slot nothing not not anything on this as you can actually see right here on the side there are no holes where the wing matches up to the fuselage you're just supposed to glue it on so all right, I kind of spoiled a little bit of, uh, of, of my surprise as far as the progress goes because I just showed you what I got. But let's back up for a moment. When I, I, I got the cockpit done, I got it painted it out, and I got it detailed. After getting all the paint and everything done and trying to get it to fit into the fuselage, <clears throat> what I found well, first of all, is, man, I really had to do a lot of filing to get the cockpit to sit in there the way I wanted it to. And I had to file it down so thin that the side part of the instrument panel, let me show, show you that here. These, these two pieces right here, these side pieces, glue on to the side of, of the big cockpit assembly there. Well, I had to file that down so thin that, that they actually broke a couple of times. And so I ended up just gluing these circuit breaker panels inside the, uh, the fuselage out because with it glued to the rest of the piece, it wouldn't fit. Now the second problem that I had, and I've already told you that this fuselage didn't have any locator pins at all. The two fuselage halves were actually warped, and, and so I had to kind of bend everything to come together, and man, talk about a real pain. And that was just to fit the cockpit, to try and get the fuselage halves together and everything to make sure that it all fit. And when I did finally get all of that together, and I was wrapping tape around it and everything else, and I got the fuselage in there, and I was happy with the way it sat, I was like, you know what, I better just go ahead and glue this thing together. And uh, when I did that, I kind of forgot about, and I don't see them right now. There they are. These two little pieces right here are the compressors for the engines. Yeah, I forgot to put them in there. I forgot to stick them down on the inside of the 
intake trunks. So, yeah. Um, I was happy that I got the cockpit in and I got it to sit pretty close to where I wanted it. And I got the nose wheel well in and I got it to sit pretty close to where I wanted it. And I got the nose weight installed and I got all that stuff in there. And like I said, I had the tape wrapped all around it. I'm like, man, I just better go ahead and glue this thing together now because it, it was so bad warped. I still got to do a lot of filing. Um, there's, there's a big ridge right here. There's a big ridge across the nose, across the nose here, across the back. So I've still got to do a lot of filing to get all that stuff smooth. And I don't know if I'm going to have to do any filling or not, but uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, that's, that's pretty much my update for right now for my Finish It February group build. And uh, so far this thing has not become a aircraft crash scene diorama. If I run into too much more trouble, that just might be how it ends up. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you again soon. Oh, yeah. Pay attention to the details. See ya. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.